Hey, Spring Valley family. I am coming to you just to do a very quick update on our worship situation. Uh, if you have been following along the last several weeks, whether here at church or uh, you know through online, um, you know we've been struggling with weather a couple of times this summer, and I tell you, it's just been right at that moment where we have to decide. Can we set up the equipment for rehearsal or not outside? And it's, it's just been unbelievable, the timing of this weather for us. Um, and I know that's created some confusion. So I just wanted to take a moment to clarify. Here's the deal. We will always be here every Sunday for worship. If the weather looks like we cannot set up our sound equipment outside, we will um, be doing the worship stuff indoors, but the FM transmitter will still be working out in the parking lot. And I know there were some issues with that this past week too. So we're working on, we're, every week we're working on different things. But uh, so you, you can always come on Sunday and know there will be something here. It's just a matter of whether or not it's gonna be, you know, set up your chair outside or not. And I know it seems a little strange that, um, you know, the last two times this has happened at 10 o'clock, the sun's peeking out and we actually could be outside, but. It just it takes time to set up all the the, the band's equipment and, and and so forth. So it's really a timing thing. Um, so when we send a message out on Facebook or whatever that the you know the the outdoor worship stuff is canceled, that's what that means. But we are still here doing worship. It's just going to be uh, through the FM trans the radio station turn in on your dial, and then of course there'll still be the the Facebook live. Um, broadcast that you can watch from home and so we just realized that when the weather looks that way as well a couple of Sundays prior it looked a lot worse and we just figured nobody's gonna come or very few people are gonna come probably because of the weather and um, just to, for a point of clarity we you know that's why we canceled that week um, hopefully this Sunday I think right now they're calling for um, like a 20% chance of rain of course that could change uh, six different ways before Sunday but hopefully that clarifies a little bit for you about do I come or don't I come or what are we doing or aren't we doing when we say rain or shine we mean there will be something there rain or shine it's just a matter of whether or not um, you'll be in your car or on the lawn and we're trying to communicate that as 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 soon as we can it's really again the timing is it's been right this little window um, there so we use Facebook uh, live uh, to communicate that quite a bit um, we try to get an email out we try to get the word out so if you're in question and you have the ability to look at those resources please do so the second thing I want to talk about briefly is that um, I know there's a lot of you who would like for us to be indoors. We also know there's a lot of you who are saying we don't want to be indoors. Uh, and I, I think sometimes it's hard for one side to believe that about the other side. But believe me, we're hearing it from both ways. People who want to um, have the safety and the comfort of their kids being outdoors and then people who want the, the air conditioning and whatever of being indoors and all that kind of stuff. We are getting really, really close. We were um, shooting for August at one point, and then the governor did all that junk with the masks and stuff again, and we, we scaled it back, but we are getting very, very close. Certainly before the cold weather comes, uh, we'll be well prepared. There's a couple of um, final little steps we're taking, and, uh, and just want you to know that that isn't forgotten. It's, it's something we're not dealing with. Uh, and we're going to, you know, keep you informed on the status of that as, as uh, it draws much nearer now. So those two things, just little points of clarity. Hope you're having a wonderful summer. Hopefully we will see you back this Sunday. Until then, God bless and have a great weekend.